Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. Today we're talking about six things to avoid when you go wedding dress shopping. Before we dive in, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and drop me a line, write a message down below of anything else you wanna see or hear about. Here we go. First thing to avoid when you go wedding dress shopping is colored undergarments. Avoid them. Any hot, bright pink, Underwear is hot pink, uh-uh, don't do it. Black underwear, it will all show through and it's really distracting. So when you take photos, all you see is underwear through the dresses. The best thing that we recommend is go for nude undergarments. Be prepared to go braless because you will not need a bra on wedding day. We sew everything into the dress for you. The second thing to avoid is a million appointments in one day. You shouldn't be doing a ton of appointments anyway. I genuinely recommend one three appointments max for bridal stores. You don't need to go to more stores than that. Truly, you don't. Pick them wisely, do your research, pick stores that meet your aesthetic and have designers that you want to see. Because after that, you start to see the same thing. And so if you're doing a ton of appointments, especially in the same day or the same weekend, you get overwhelmed, you get confused, you get cranky, you don't even know what you like anymore. So it just does more harm than good. So avoid a million appointments in one day, let alone a million appointments when you're searching for the dress. Eat before your appointment. So many brides want to starve themselves because they want to be as skinny as possible or they just don't want to be bloated. Don't do that. If you're hungry and hangry, it doesn't serve anyone. So please eat. If you don't want to eat a big meal, I get that. You don't want to feel lethargic or super bloated after eating, but eat so that you're happy and you're comfortable. Yeah, hangry things are not, you're just not gonna be productive. It's a waste of everybody's time in, in, in that regard if you're not eating before your appointment. The next thing that you want to avoid is shopping if you're in a bad mood. If if you're not happy, don't, don't, if you're having a bad day, cancel your appointment. We obviously, of course, if you've committed to appointment weeks or months in advance and you're just not having a great day, you show up because you've committed to it, we would rather you not come if you're not having a great day because it's not gonna serve either one of us if you're shopping and you're just not having a great day. And if you're on your period and you're bloated and you don't feel good, just don't come. Don't, don't do it. Don't put yourself through it. You wanna come on a day where your heart's open, your mind's open, and you're really focused and excited about this. Even though, as I've discussed in previous videos, it's not always the most exciting process because we all have other things happening in our lives and maybe things that the wedding triggers or brings up for you emotionally. But if you can and you're not vibing, don't come in. It's just, it, it doesn't work out well for anyone. All right, the next thing that you want to avoid is taking endless amount of photos. I highly recommend that you just take photos of the gowns that you actually are considering to wear on wedding day. Don't document every single dress in a photo. It confuses you, it's TMI, it takes time away from trying on more dresses. If you think about it, you can try on as many dresses in an appointment as you want. It's how quickly you get in and out of them. So if you're in a dress that you don't love and you're wasting time taking photos of it, that's taking away time from trying on other dresses and finding your actual dress. So only take photos of dresses that you are highly considering to wear on wedding day or if you just want to have as a memory, but there's really no need to document every single dress. It just takes time away from being productive and getting into the next dress to find your dream dress. The last number six wedding dress shopping thing to avoid, do not show up without your hair and makeup done. You want to show up to your appointment feeling pretty. You just want to feel pretty. That's why I was mentioning if you're bloated and you're just not feeling good, don't do it. You also want to feel pretty. So. If your hair and makeup aren't done, usually it's really hard for people to look past that, so I highly recommend it. Another thing that I wanna add in here, a lot of brides want to wait until they get to their goal weight before they start dress shopping, so they prolong the process of shopping until they get to their goal weight. I do not recommend this. I highly, highly recommend you coming in even if you are not at your goal weight because if you find a gown that you love on your body when your body isn't at your best where you feel the most confident in, you're only going to like that dress even more when your body does make the shifts that you wanna make with it. So the only thing that would really happen if you don't come in because you wanna lose more weight, you are now cutting into your ship date and options. The closer you wait to your wedding date, the less options you have to order a dress. So you're better off coming in when you're not at your goal weight 
finding a dress that you feel absolutely beautiful and confident in even when your body is not where you want it to be. These are all the things that you want to avoid and all the things that you want to do moving forward to have a successful appointment with the bridal store that you visit. For more, definitely please subscribe to the channel and I can't wait to see you in the next video.